Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I want to share another thing with you, and I want you to keep this in mind. Picture a helium balloon. Picture it. Helium balloon is raising up and raising up. You let it go, that thing's going to soar up to the sky, isn't it? Why? Because the helium. Well, listen. When you are filled with God's love, it's like being like a balloon being filled with helium you hear what i'm saying and when this is the beautiful part when you're filled with faith forgiveness love holiness power of the holy ghost all of that nothing can pull you down unless you allow it things can get you down for a minute but they don't have to pull you down now imagine that balloon that i just talked about and you get something a little weight and tie it at the end of that string of that balloon now the, it may be something small very small but that balloon is not going to soar. It's going to float up a little bit, but it's not going to go too far. You put a name on that weight that you tied on it. Resentment. Now you get another little something and you tie it on there. Now you're holding on to your hurts. And you tie that to the end of the string. Along with the resentment. Now you got resentment and you got hurt. Now the balloon's not floating up with the balloon is hovering. It can go high if you just cut that stuff off. But if you don't cut it off and you leave it attached, you weigh that balloon down and it cannot go where it would. And that's the same way with you and me. But what makes it worse is not only are we not able to go where we would, if we could, we tie other things on there. We rehearse the matter. Then we tie some more stuff. Anger. And we tie some more stuff. And victim. And before you know it, that poor balloon. Picture this as the balloon. The poor balloon is coming down ever so slowly, but it's coming down. Instead of ascending which is what all that inside of it has been put in to make it do, it's descending. It, it's, 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 coming, it's falling down. It's being weighed down. It cannot float. It's starting to, to go down to the ground because the string has too much tied to it. What do you have tied to your life that's keeping you down? God has given you everything to soar, to, to get the abundant life. For some of you, you're stuck with an abusive man or an abusive woman that you shouldn't be entwined with. For some of you, it's not an abusive man or an abusive woman. Some of you, some of you are tied to the past. He said, she said, they did. I'll never forget. And all that stuff that you refuse to let go of, that you refuse to cut out of your life, starts bringing you down and your level and your sights in life get lower and lower and your character gets lower. And the things that you do in life just comes down. You're not moving up like God planned. You're coming down for a crash landing because you won't cut that stuff out of your life. And if you don't cut it out of your life and you're not able to cut it out, God is. All you have to do is ask. God, cut that crap out of my life. I'm tired of anger being in control. I'm tired of resentment being in control of me. I want to be all that I can be, and I don't know what all that is because I'm so clouded by that. 
I'm so weighed down. The Bible says, don't let it, uh, um, how, how can I say it right? I want to make sure I quote it right. I have to paraphrase it. Don't let these sins and weights that so easily beset you. Sin and weights are like the stuff tied to the string of that balloon. Resentment, anger, unforgiveness, gossip, slander, revenge, spite. I'll fix your business. I mean, it can get so crazy that we literally eat ourselves up inside. You know, little Pac-Man goes, yeah, well, there's a little Pac-Man in there just eating us up inside in the form of cancer, in the form of heart attacks, strokes. I mean, all kind of stuff, stuff, even blood diseases from toxic emotions that we refuse to let go of. We won't even let God get rid of it because we feel like we earn the right to keep it as a memorial to our anger. Don't let that happen to you. You will miss out on so much in life just by not being able to float, let alone soar. You're down there on the ground, not up in the sky because you have made your home in your anger and in your past. 